Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, you're looking at day six hair. Yes, that means I have not washed my hair in six days. If you have straight hair, you're probably thinking, ugh, oh, that's disgusting. But if you have curly hair, you're like, dang girl, I'm impressed. As you should be. So the thing about curly hair is you shouldn't and don't have to wash your hair every day. I used to do that, not knowing any better, but our hair actually gets better throughout the week because you get more volume and it's just, I mean, look at it. But you might be having some trouble making your curls last throughout the week. So I'm gonna give you a couple tips today to help you out. These tips are going to include how to reduce the amount of frizz that your hair gets and what product you should be using on what day to make your curls last for as long as possible. So let's get started on how to protect your hair from frizz and when it comes to refreshing every day. I know I've said this a million times, but one of the main ways to make sure your hair looks good in the morning is how you go to bed at night. And that is by sleeping on a silk pillowcase. Today's video is sponsored by Lily Silk. So I got on the Lily Silk pajamas. I got the matching Lily Silk pillowcase. You know you see the coordination. Do you absolutely have to match your pillowcase? No, but it's really cute though. But you do need a silk pillowcase in your life. Because when you go to bed, you need your curls just to be slipping and sliding without getting any frizz or creating any friction on a regular cotton pillowcase. So I always sleep on a silk pillowcase. I also like to wear some silk pajamas while I'm doing my makeup or my hair or just, you know, not getting dressed during quarantine. So that way my hair is just slipping and sliding even when I'm not sleeping. So all the Lily Silk products are made of mulberry silk, which is really good for your hair, really good for your skin. It feels amazing. So I got the pillowcase, I got the pajamas, and they have a bunch of different colors. So my bedspread's actually like gray or silver. So I have these pillowcases. I keep one on my bed, obviously. I keep one in my suitcase in case I'm traveling. <laughs> Remember those days? Cause those hotel pillowcases will mess up your vacation. And then sometimes I even wrap it around my shoulders just to create like a little curly cape if you don't have these stylish silk pajamas. Now I know you're looking at these fresh silk pajamas and thinking, honestly has a lot of high quality silk products from pajamas to pillowcases to full on bedspreads. Your whole bed could be silk if you wanted to. Some other ones that I use all the time are a silk scrunchie. This is what I use to put my hair up every night to make my refreshes so much easier in the morning, just like so. If your hair isn't long enough for a pineapple, you can get a silk bonnet, also from Lily Silk. Put all your curls inside and now they are nicely protected up and away. You even can grab a Lily Silk eye mask and you could really get your sleep on. Oh, I feel like I'm on Love Island. I got a text. Let's have a proper chat in the morning, shall we? Oh, it's so early, I'm absolutely gutted. So then in the morning you just take off your bonnet, remove your silk scrunchie and poof, did not harm your curls at all. Still looking beautiful. You shake it out. Good as new. So not only do you need all these products in your life, they also would make really good gifts for the holidays. So they even have gift sets. So you can get this little bonnet, you can get an eye mask, you can get silk scrunchies. So if you wanna get any of these Lily Silk items and you wanna get your TLC on, just like me and getting these silk pajamas, I got you. I got a promo code, so use my code so you can save some money and I'll link the website in the description box. So using all these items will help reduce frizz. The less frizz you have, the easier it's going to be to refresh your curls every single day. So how you go to sleep at night is crucial to having a good curly hair week. So now that you know how to sleep with your curly hair, what product should you be using every day? So on day one, I would suggest starting off with something that's going to give you a little bit of a hold, a little bit of a crunch if you will, just something that will have a cast to protect you from the world, meaning a mousse or a gel. Some of my favorite gels, as you guys should probably know by now, are the In Shower Style Fixer by Curl Smith, the Hydro Style Flexi Jelly by Curl Smith, the Trey Lux Curl Enhancing Styling Gel, or the Pattern Beauty Gel. All of these gels have great hold. The one with the most hold out of all of these 
I would probably say the in shower style fixer. But another one of my favorites that I actually used this week was the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Mousse. If I use any of these on day one, I'm gonna have a good hair week. Now, on day two, it's time to assess your curls. Did you sleep on your silk pillowcase? Did you have your silk scrunchie, your silk bonnet? If so, you probably started off pretty well. Now you say, hmm, am I losing some of that cast? Do I need a little bit more gel or do I need a little bit more moisture? If you need a little bit more moisture, you could have applied a leave-in conditioner before the gel on day one. My favorite leave-in conditioners are the Curlsmith Weightless Air Dry Cream, the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk leave-in conditioner, or the Moisture Balance leave-in conditioner by Bounce Curl. You could use any of these as step one and then apply your gel. But if you touch your hair and you're like, hmm, I don't think I really need that much more product today, then you could just add a little bit of leave-in conditioner or what some people do is they put their leave-in conditioner in a water bottle, shake it together, and you may drill a little refresh spray. People often ask me, do I refresh my curls every single day? <gasps> yes, I do. I do notice that I can wake up with beautiful curls looking like this without any added product, but by the end of the day, I might start to get a little frizzy. So I always notice my best results if I do just take the time to refresh, add a little bit more product, and that will get me to the end of the day. So what I'll do is I'll just grab a water bottle and I'll just spritz my hair and get any parts that are frizzy. Usually it's the ones on the inside where my hair was like pulled back from the scrunchie or maybe on top, wherever you need, spray a little bit of water and then apply a little bit more product. So now let's say it's day three. At this point, you don't wanna add any more gel because you just don't think you need it. You kinda of just need some moisture because your curls are starting to get a little bit more dry. This is where I would then not go to the gels, but then go to a cream styler. Some of my favorite cream stylers would be the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Defining Cream, the Bounce Curl Lightweight Cream Gel, Trey Lux has a four-in-one hydrating cream, Pattern has a styling cream, and so does Rezos Curls. All these will be great to refresh with. Rezos Curls even has a refresh cream spray so you could just use that as well but that way you get more moisture instead of hold on day three so now it's day four you've worked out a couple times your scalp's feeling a little bit greasy you might want to apply a dry shampoo my favorite dry shampoo is by igk this is their first class charcoal detox dry shampoo it's one of their silicone free dry shampoos so you just kind of lift your roots and spray it and then you shake it kind of rub it in and this not only will give you a cleaner feeling scalp, kind of suck up any oiliness or whatever might be uh, brewing, but it also gives you some really good volume because it kind of gives you like some, some grip. And my secret trick is I actually use this on day one just to get a little more like grip at the roots and it really helps me get some volume on day one. Don't tell anybody, that's my secret. So basically every single day I add a little bit more water and then I add a little bit more product of whatever my hair tells me that I need. If I know I'm gonna go outside, if I live in a humid area, I gotta go with the gels. I need some hold because when I go outside, it's all gonna get frizzy again. So if you live in a humid area, you gotta start off with a very strong hold gel and even leave the house without breaking the cast. Let your curls be a little hard because by the end of the day, the weather is going to break that down and it's just gonna get softer and softer as the day goes on. And another important thing just to keep in mind is to schedule your curls. Think about when does your hair look the best. For me, my hair looks best on like day three, at least day two. So if I have some place to go, I will count the number of days prior wash my hair on that day so that by day three, my curls will be popping for whatever event I'm going to. And by event in 2020, I mean a Zoom call. So these are all of my tips to make sure your curls last as long as possible. Silk pillowcases, silk scrunchies, silk pajamas if you feel in yourself, gels and mousses on day one and two, cream stylers and leave-ins on day three, four, and then just listen to your curls and see what your hair needs. As you can see, this is day six, guys. Like, look at the definition. It's still there because I use really good products. And at the end of the day, the healthier your hair is, the better your curls are gonna look. That means more deep conditioning and less straightening. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday. You also can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. And I have a huge, huge, Christmas giveaway coming up. The biggest giveaway 
I've ever done. So you do not want to miss out. Follow me right now before you forget. And I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Thank you.